Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Monday. We back on our Starbucks, which means it's going to be a great day. There is nothing keeping us from having a wonderful day, okay? It is hot in here. What's going on? Happy Monday, y'all. Happy Monday. Back to it. And back to it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm pumped. Good morning, beautiful. Hey. Um, I'm super pumped about like right now we are wrapping up Q1. And let's be honest, it's been a lot going on. And I'm so excited for this next quarter. I'm excited for some stuff that we are going to be that I'm gonna be announcing soon. Um <laughs> Dang, somebody trying to walk across the street like it's not green. Look at me in my face like, bro, you're not about to get in this Porsche, okay? Keep walking fast. Um, I'm excited about some things that we'll be announcing soon. I am, you know, there's so much that I, oh, sorry, y'all. I envision there's so much that, that, you know, we set seeds, planted seeds for, um, that are sprouting very quickly um, lately and so I've been kind of I kind of took a step back from a lot of things to focus on you know nurturing what's to come and making sure that foundation is straight um, that you know the things that are flowing um, continue to right that we worked hard for that we're ready to, to nurture and, and multiply um, and I'm feeling re-energized. Like, I think that, you know, 2022 kind of took it out of me. I ain't even gonna lie to you. And I feel really re-energized um, after this first quarter on just getting back to basics, getting back to, um, and not even back as in a step back, but just being um, really amped up. Like, I, like, when we first started and over the years, it's been very much go 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 and for a little while um i was able to comfortably and like rightfully coast right and just like vibe through and enjoy some stuff and travel and like run around with friends and have a good time and that was because it was preparation rest and preparation for what is coming now and so i feel myself really starting to get in the flow of Jordan year, right? Really start to get in the flow of of hustle and grinding it out and putting on playlists that I had that I was using a couple years ago when it was like, okay, let's let's go to these houses, let's manage these contractors. Like there's all these different things going on from our development projects, our properties, um next gen and really setting the foundation for what will be kind of this next level of building wealth and building Baltimore um, and being able to do so in a way that that puts everyone in position to consistently execute. And, you know, we have, you know, quite a few seven figure portfolio girlies and boys and, and couples or whatever, you know, really being able to support and push more people to hit those big levels leveraging all the things that we've built to make it happen like really you know scaling and hiring and doing all the things that we've wanted to do for our construction company like you know I, most people don't know all the things that we do rightfully so right everything is not for social media in my opinion, I'd rather tell you what I did than tell you what I'm going to do unless you're in certain circles. Um, like Next Gen, they know the things that we're working on to a level that most people don't. Um, but but it's coming to a time real here, real soon where it's almost time to talk your sh Right? <laughs> it's almost time to talk my stuff. And not only that, right? But being that much more intentional about how we are bringing folks with us not only through next gen and building their portfolios but the small businesses and companies and folks who are doing amazing work 
helping to amplify even what they're doing and having more partnerships and collaborations where you know if you are supporting myself or my students that I'm able to share that broadly um, with our audience right? right how do we continue to leverage and post and do all that great stuff on YouTube since everyone really enjoys YouTube I'm not always like sitting in front of a camera to shoot and so I'm trying to figure out how to best uh, do that to be consistent on that platform as as well it's a lot easier for me to just like jump on live here but um, but there's a lot to come and I'm really really excited just about getting back to me I'm excited about just being able to on my other page like you know step outside of being somebody's mama somebody's wife somebody's business partner and just be Kiara like that is something that I celebrate every single day um because it's easy to lose yourself in the world of you know supporting and managing and um doing all the things for everybody else so I'm excited for Q3 um, I hope I mean sorry Q2 because I'm doing a lot of planning for Q3 and Q4 um, I'm excited for Q2 I hope you are as well I hope you're excited for what we will be sharing and opportunities to to learn and connect events um, there's nothing like a CCB event um, you know it's just it's so much fun if you're looking for events too we do have April 8th is a free book signing um, for the Acres Coffee Table book. Um, so I'm ex really excited about that. And it's held at The Cube, which is the largest Black-owned co-working space in the country, black woman owned uh, co-working space. So I'm super excited to support um, The Cube in that event. And then in May, we have another bus tour. I'm planning a three-day conference for the third quarter um, to get into the nitty gritty of everything for three days. Like if you've ever been to our events, you know, we don't get keep at all, right? It's like, we are learning. We are getting all the information we need to execute. And it's all about execution. And I think, you know, a lot of times online things are about, you know, selling a course or, you know, whatever. Um, you can't pour from an empty glass. So I don't hate on nobody getting their coins, but you know the purpose for for me is impact the purpose for me is transformation the purpose for me is how do we close this wealth gap leveraging real estate the purpose for me is making sure folks really understand what baltimore is and what it's all about like the purpose for me is changing the narrative on what it looks like to be an investor and invest in real estate the purpose for me is shifting the mindset of the next generation and make sure our kids know what's possible, right? And so for me, it's always been about how do I leverage what I've learned the hard way, the smart way, and everywhere in between to streamline that process for more people so everybody can win, period. So um, expect more opportunities to do exactly that because that's what fills my cup that's what that's it's like so you know the the selfishness in it for me is i get so much energy from connecting with folks to like you know watching people get excited i literally scheduled a bus tour on my birthday last week or the week before whatever because I wanted for my birthday, and literally, so this is really what really happened. I was praying on, I wanted to take a solo trip for my birthday. I wanted to do a solo trip in another country on somebody's beach drinking a cocktail alone. <laughs> and I was praying on that because it didn't seem like me. Like, I like being around people. I love my girls' trips. Like, I love all of those things. I love... I'm an extrovert like I love being around people and so I was praying on it because I was like why do I want to be alone like that's kind of weird and when I was praying on it it was like nah God was like nope don't even worry about that you can do that another time for your birthday you need to be you need to be walking in your purpose on the day of your birth so on my birthday we did a bus tour and I kept it small so it was like like maybe 30 some people 
and it was just me I didn't ask my team to help me put it together like it was all and although they still popped up and show and helped because they know me um but for my birthday I did a bus tour and it was so amazing and it filled me up so much and it was such a big part of why this was probably one of my favorite birthdays in like over 10 years like probably in like 15 years um and I was so grateful for that and it, it reminded me why it's super important that you know I don't let the the work of being a CEO being a mom being all of these things to all these people take away from the things that fill me up and so expect more of that expect more of that so I'm excited um if you are looking for ways to connect um what do we have we have the um the women in real estate summit that mg the mortgage guy is putting on that starts tonight um i speak on wednesday i believe i'm the last speaker um which is super dope so um so that's on wednesday and then on april 8th we have a free book signing um, there's also like a mini bus tour um, associated with that and like a luncheon and stuff. Um, so the link for that is in our bio. Um, May 9th, I believe, is our next bus tour. Um, so don't sleep. Make sure you are in the room for that. And then um, if all else fails, you can't uh, attend any of those events. One, stay tapped in. Or two... Um, make sure you're on our email list. So if you scroll all the way down um, in the link in our bio, you'll find a spot where you can um, give your name and your email to be on our email list so that as things come up and we're sharing um, events or information or opportunities that you get the tea. Post notifications are always a good idea as well. All right. Um, but anyway, I'm encouraged uh, this Monday. I hope you are too. Have a wonderful day to set the foundation for an awesome week so that we can flow into Q2 later on this week. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.